Greetings and blessings unto all y'all, Yehovah Ori, the glorious Or, the Israel, the glorious light of Israel, the light of life, the light unto the world, the light unto the nations, and hallelujah, Yehovah. Thank you, Yehovah, for you light my candle. You are my light. You bless me. Thank you that you light my menorah with your Holy Spirit, Yehovah, your Okma, your Bina, your Eldena, your counsel your power, strength, and might, your fear, reverence, and awe. And I thank you, Jehovah, for who you are. I thank you for this light that comes from heaven and shines upon me. And all those who you shine through us, thank you for shining brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until your full perfect brightness, until the Son of Man, the Son of Adam appears, and until all the nation of Israel, Teshuvah, until all the nation of Israel repents, and we thank you, Jehovah, that you will reveal your Son unto all of Israel. And we thank you that the fullness of the Gentiles has come, that the revealing of your Son may be unto all of Israel now. I'm going to share a testimony with you on how much Jehovah El Elyon, the Most High God, El Olam, the Eternal God, the Living God, cares. There was a man named Charlie he was not a perfect man, but he was a veteran from the United States Air Force. He had fallen sick and he was dying. His time had come. And he was in the hospital. The evil spirits wanted him to suffer in agony and to, to be distraught, and to be in agony and anguish and to die like that. Jehovah didn't want that for Charlie. So he called upon a homeless man in Denver, Colorado, who had nothing but just his vehicle and his two girls. Jehovah wanted him to use what little money he had to drive all the way from Denver, Colorado to Yuma, Arizona. So in faith, this homeless man did this as a representative of Jehovah's loving kindness and mercy, his great goodness and compassion, his favor and grace, his care. This homeless man drove all the way from Denver, Colorado to Yuma, Arizona, using everything he had with no one to help him here in this world because of how they treat the homeless and how they treat the righteous here in this country, the United States of America. So he drove there. Charlie was in the hospital. He was suffering in anguish and agony and pain. They were just about to move him to the hospice so that they could do their wicked and evil unto him. This homeless man woke him up, grabbed his hand, and asked him if there was something that Charlie wanted. Charlie said, yes, will you please bless me with some chocolate pudding? So this homeless man went in the hospital to the cafeteria to do his best to find some chocolate pudding. He found some chocolate pudding, and he took it up to Charlie, and he fed it to Charlie while he was on his deathbed. Charlie loved it. He ate as much as he could, then he smiled closed his eyes and went to rest. This homeless man, who was also a veteran, an angel of mercy, he called the nurses and doctors because this other homeless, this other man, Charlie, he had a dog named Tripper this dog had been praying to Jehovah, and Tripper asked that his owner would be by him when he passed so that he could be in joy and peace and love. So this homeless man was able to convince the hospital to take an ambulance and drive him like 70 miles to where his home, his home was, 
to where his dog Tripper was. He went back there and he passed in joy and love and peace. And the little dog's prayer was answered. And that homeless man was the only one that God could call upon to go help him, to show Charlie how much he cared, and so that he would go in love and joy and peace and to answer that little dog's prayer. That's how much Jehovah cares. Even if no one cares about you, Jehovah does, and there are those who are willing to sacrifice everything to help you to honor their God, to honor Jehovah the Most High God, the God of loving kindness, the God of mercy, the God of compassion, favor, and grace, the God of care, the God who loves, the God who is love. Jehovah bless you.